Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. And welcome to today's video where we are going to be talking about what would have happened if Russia had become Muslim. And this leader was almost the reason why. So we have Vladimir the Great, the Grand Prince of Kiev and Rus, was contemplating the choice that would define the spiritual destiny of his people. Vladimir, a man of great wisdom and vision, reigned over a realm where polytheism and varied beliefs intertwined. His quest for a unifying faith to bind his people together led him on a profound journey. It was during this journey that he encountered Islam, a faith resonating with the principles of unity, submission to the divine, and moral righteousness. Subhanallah. Enthralled by the teachings and practices of Islam, Vladimir considered adopting it as a state religion. He saw in Islam the potential to unite his diverse populace under a single banner of faith, offering them a cohesive identity and a moral compass for communal growth. Now that the storytelling voice is gone, okay, let me tell y'all for real, like, basically what happened. So, now, what pretty much went down, right, guys, is that, you know, he explored a lot of different faiths, okay? He um, obviously was interested in Islam. That was, you know, one of the faiths. He was also interested in Christianity. And obviously, in the end, he ended up picking Christianity. But his journey as to why is the real issue of concern here, right, guys? Because, you know... It's about the process, you know what I mean, blood? So, now, what had happened, basically, was that he went around and he talked with a bunch of scholars, right, from Islam. And uh, he engaged in them with a lot of discussions. Uh, you know, they were talking to him about, like, you know, the tenets of faith, the ethical codes within Islam, uh, the principles of justice, and, you know, equality that are ingrained within the whole Sharia system. Um, and the prospect of uh, embracing Islam was, like, Pretty much like right there. Like they were like that close of embracing Islam. His, uh, you know, just the fact of him, you know, contemplating this, I felt like, you know, kind of showed that he was at one point in time pretty sincere and open-minded, uh, you know, and pretty tolerant, like I said. Uh, so his quest for a unifying force to kind of like guide his people was very profound. But what he follows it up with, right, is... Quite disappointing to say the least, okay guys? So let me quote to you the reason that he had of why he could not accept Islam as the state religion. Vladimir the Great was confronted, like I said, with the choice of converting Russia to Christianity or Islam. He eventually chose Christianity because of the Islamic teaching on alcohol. And he was quoted to have said... Drinking is the joy of all Rus. We cannot exist without that pleasure. So it was alcohol addiction that led him to the choice of Christianity. Along with obviously him having married a Christian woman, uh, uh, Orthodox Christian woman for that matter. And he felt that the Orthodox Christianity would better suit Russian society at that time. Because it would cohese more or be more cohesive with the society that was already existing then which obviously I guess they had an alcohol issue and alcohol was permissible for them. So yeah. But what is interesting guys, like let's be honest here, like the Balkans, they love their alcohol. Even in countries like uh, Bosnia, which are supposed to be a Muslim country, you have people there that really struggle with alcohol addiction. So it was his love for something in the dunya that led him to making such a decision that would alter the course of human civilization. And Russia continues to have a soaring alcoholic problem within their society. Like guys, it is honestly really, really sad that they're so addicted to this stuff. It's honestly, like I said, really, really sad. Uh, now, obviously I'm not trying to generalize or stereotype. Uh, I know that this is just a big part of the culture, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, it got me thinking, like, what would it be like if Russia had become Muslim? So would we see an even more robust approach towards the sciences and technological advances without the distractions of alcohol or zina or um, pork or any of this sort of things that are, you know, vices? 
I mean, pork obviously doesn't have as much of a direct impact other than on your personal health, but because we have seen what happens when Russians are distraction free from things, we got animals like Khabib Nurmagomedov mauling Irishmen in the freaking octagon like a bear injected with rabies blood. Okay, if this level of discipline was established across society, would we have seen a real life compound V version of Superman Red Sun? That's all I want to know, guys. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm kidding, um, but, you know, the Russians were very gifted in the sciences, like, regardless of any of that, right? Before, obviously, without Islam, they were obviously very successful in the sciences, but imagine if that was amplified even more by their discipline and abstinence from alcohol and other bad vices that people are addicted to, right? What would the world have looked like today, you know what I mean? I, I do genuinely wonder that, you know, but... Allahu alam. At this point, as they say, if my mother was a virgin, she'd be the, married to the Shah of Iran. Like, what if? You know what I mean? Doesn't do us any good now. But, you know, something still I always think about and I'm kind of like, you know, subhanAllah, like that's interesting. But, you know, like I said, Allah knows best, but I feel it could have really benefited the people uh, aside from the spiritual aspect and obviously salvation aspect of it. But even from a societal perspective, I feel it would have been very advantageous to them to have accepted Islam. Or am I full of it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure you guys have a lot of very kind words to tell me uh, about this. And especially you vodka lovers out there. Uh, obviously, I'm kidding. But, um, you know, if you guys enjoyed this video, then remember to keep your money up. Keep your salat up. And bless me up down below by subscribing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Inshallah.